We're here at the Worthington Diamond Mine in southwest Arkansas. It's Saturday morning, November 21st, 2020, and we are at the drain that we're working on to drain the diamond mine whenever it rains, and we reworked the drain some and came down here with the bulldozer late yesterday and got it stuck. It was kind of soft and wet here. This is a natural ditch and it was holding water even though it hadn't rained in a long time. And the bulldozer got stuck. You can see there's water in there now and possibly a, a spring here. So in this valley with the water um, kind of caused a problem. So when the bulldozer got stuck I brought the excavator over and fortunately, this big heavy dozer has a huge winch on the back of it. And we hooked it to the excavator and he started winching it and it did not pull the dozer out. It pulled the, the excavator, skidded it across the ground and he had me grab a stomp with the front end and it still skidded across the ground. So, John Terrell got in the excavator and he dug a hole and he buried the excavator here and then he dug a hole and buried the bucket on the excavator so we were well anchored and then he used the winch to pull the dozer out of the hole and it was dark 30 then I mean the moon was out and he needed to go I needed to go it was late and so we just left it pulled it out of the hole and left it and uh, he's on his way. I'm going to start the machines now and let those diesel engines start warming up. But the, the drain is coming along really great. We realized this valley is deeper than we thought originally. And I took a couple of feet out of there with the excavator. It drops way down from the mine height. And... Since we're not going to go wide with this excavation, recovering the diamond ore, we're going to go deep. And if you go deep, you have to have it drain. So, the I'll show you the original drain height as of yesterday. It was at this height here. And then I stepped it down and lowered it and then we dropped it a whole bunch and we're not done cleaning this up we were working on it and like I say it got late and we got stuck and but this is gonna look really good we're gonna leave this wall here which is fine which was one side of the trench and we opened up this other side of the trench and we're gonna get it draining really good for now because we've got rain coming Tuesday Saturday and Sunday and a lot of rain coming. It's dry right now except in the spring in the the, the valley down there but uh, this should all drain around this well and once we mined all of this knoll all of this dome out of here and as we go down we can dig this deeper and drain it we could just go back to the idea of having a trench in the middle but now we've got a way to set the excavator in here now that it's wider set the excavator in and dig it down we could probably go five feet deeper here and still have slope to this valley it's that deep of a valley so that's really good for the volume of diamond material I want to dig out of there eventually we'll We'll see what the future holds, but that's the plan. We can, we'll have natural gravity flow out of our open pit mine to get the rainwater out. So it's all coming together. And later today, well, John's going to get this all cleaned up, and then I'm going to go to Glenwood and get seed and fertilizer, and we'll get this planted before the rains come. So it's going to look great. Thank you for joining me and check back and I'll give you an update on what's happening here at the Worthington Diamond Mine just outside of the world famous Crater of Diamond State Park.